So yeah, I just built this in my shed using a Craig pocket jig. Uh, huh. It's pretty cold out here. Well, it's not too bad. It's 57.4 degrees in the shed. And uh, I just built this using the Craig the pocket jig right over here. I'm going to show you a little bit about the Craig pocket jig in just a minute. And uh, enjoy the show. Hello, this is the pocket hole joinery. The fastest way to join wood. It's um, using the Craig jig. It's the model R3. It's perfect for building cabinets, bookcases, tables, chairs, garage, storage, stairs, wainscoting, and much, much more. It's fast. It joins wood without glue. It's strong. It screws. The screws pull the joint tightly together. It's simple. It's got less clamping, sanding, gluing. It's more enjoyable word working. Now let's see what we got inside. Now you, it's got a nice case with these little locks. And when you open it up, this is what you see. You have a drill bit used with this jig. This is the Craig jig. This is the guts of the, the uh, piece here. So you can uh, set uh, measurements with it. You see right here on the back, it's got measurements so you can uh, tell how thick your wood is and where you want to position your pocket screws. Now, I made this jig using, this is a copy stand I made, and you can see I've got several pocket holes I made uh, to construct this. This is just some wood that I had scrap. And now I'm using it to hold my Samsung Galaxy S3 camera to do kind of a demonstration. So, there you have. It comes with some screws that you can use for different lengths. And I used number eight, uh, one and a quarter. I think I've used that one. And I've used some of the smaller ones too for other projects. But I really like this product. And if you're looking to make some, some pocket hole joinery, um, it's really good. It also comes with this quick start guide, which you can see right there goes tells you the depth collar settings. Now the depth collar is this thing right here. You set this using the guide. The guide is built into the case, so you can see um, the measurements right there. You just slide that collar to the depth of the wood you're cutting. And then you have this driver right here that uh, you can put in your screw gun, like there, tighten it down, you're ready to go. You want to use the extractor, I highly recommend if you don't have a cordless screw gun uh, that you get one because these things are awesome. Get a battery powered one, get one with two batteries because you're going to use it up. Okay, now this goes inside here just like this. So this gets clamped onto your wood, and you put it in here, and you'll make your pocket hole. Now, um, in a little bit, I'll set up a shot that shows you that. I got this test piece of wood that I've been just I use to uh, try out different tools in my shop. So I'm gonna just clamp this onto here, and I'm gonna use it to drill these holes. Okay. Now this might be a little cumbersome setting up this jig, but uh, We'll see how it turns out. This is pretty crazy and I wouldn't recommend people do this. Um, but I'm going to show you this with two hands. I got my drill in this hand. I'm going to left hand it. And then I got my jig. So it shouldn't be much of a big deal since you know we have this jig. And it's going to basically guide the drill bit in. Yeah, you can see it's uh, chewing that up. Sometimes you gotta back it out to get that material out. But it's got these slots right there that let extra material out. So if it gets too bad, it should just come out that slot. You can see it's starting to come out now. Okay. So let's do the next one, and I'll show you what these two things look like.
Got to back it out when it does that. I got a torque set on this. So I'm trying to make a real nice one for you. Okay. Now I'm just using these uh, crafts. Whoops. Handing it with a camera and uh, and a drill, you're bound to make some kind of mistake. But here it is. I'm going to take off this clamp I got holding it on. And let's see what we got. We got our pocket holes drilled right there. And all you got to do is just kind of knock it out. And that's good to go. Okay? It's ready to attach to something. All right. Well, thanks again. This is Tech at Lamont, and I just showed you how to uh, use the Craig Pocket Jig.